Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of the Crack a Pack series. Today we are opening up a pack of uh, 8th edition actually, which I think is kind of funny that they do not put that on the front of the pack. But um, <laughs> uh, as always, we are going to be looking at this from a limited standpoint. So we will see what we would pick uh, if this was a pack one, pick one environment. Uh, and of course, hopefully we will get some uh, high value cards. At the top of the list we have at $50. Uh, on Card Kingdom, we have Ensnaring Bridge, which is a fantastic card. Of course, Blood Moon and Bribery are up there as well. There's things like City of Brass and Birds of Paradise sitting a little bit lower down. Uh, but there's actually, I was kind of surprised, there's actually a lot of value in this set. So hopefully we get something really good. Uh, but of course, we start off with our commons. Shock is our first one. Uh, an instant for one red mana. It deals two damage to any target creature or player. This card's fantastic. It's a classic card. Uh, removal or get in the last few points of damage. Absolutely love it. Uh, not unhappy to, to pick that up. Uh, unsummon, uh, one blue for an instant return target creature to its owner's hand. Also a fantastic card, honestly, but I would rather have the hard removal in shock. Uh, Trained Armadon is a 3-3 three, three for 3, very base uh, in terms of its stats and everything, uh, but still probably decent filler in this set. I really don't know, I didn't draft during this time, but um, I would imagine it's really just on par. It's not anything amazing, but it's just okay. I don't like it more than Shock. Uh, Gravedigger, uh, 3 and a black for a 2-2, two, two, and when it comes into play you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This card is actually really good in draft. Uh, recursion is always a little bit um, a little bit stronger, I would say, in a draft format. A lot of times they're going to try and find a way to remove your big bomb and to be able to bring it back is actually really useful. I think, honestly, I would pick that over Shock uh, just because it affects the board uh, and has some longevity with whatever card you actually pull back. Uh, Suntail Hawk is a 1-1 one, one for 1 uh, white with flying. Very just base card. Again, not very good. I don't like 1-1s one, uh, most of the time. They just get outclassed so quickly, so do not want to take that. Uh, Hill Giant is a 3-3 three, three for 4. Uh, low stats, not a very good card to be honest. Uh, I would not really want to pick this, though I probably would have to play it in some red decks just as filler. Uh, Stormcrow is clearly the best card in magic it is a one two for two with flying uh honestly this card is not very good uh but uh, don't tell anybody i said that um definitely not a very good card in limited though uh lava axe steal five damage to target player for five uh this is actually a decent finisher in a red deck it's not like you want tons of these in a deck uh just because it's not actual removal it's just five damage to the face so it's a little bit more uh focused but it is still a decent finisher in a red deck, so I would like this card, but probably not more than Gravedigger. Uh, Holy Strength, uh, one white for an enchanted creature. Uh, the enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two. Not a, f a favorite of mine. I Again, I've said this a lot before, so I won't harp on it again, but I tend not to like cards like this. Uh, they're dependent on another creature being out, uh, and so you have to attach this to that creature, and then if it gets removed, it's a two for one against you. So just not very good in my opinion. Uh, Bog Imp is a 1-1 one, one flyer for 2. Uh, this is just a worse Suntail Hawk for black, basically, so I do not like that. Uh, our first uncommon is Ambition's Cost. It's 3 and a black for a sorcery. You draw 3 cards and lose 3 life. This card is actually really powerful. Um, yes, it's a sorcery, which I tend to want to take creatures a little more heavily, uh, but I do really like this card. Drawing 3 cards for 1 is great. Yes, you lose a few life, but it's really not the end of the world. Uh, I would actually consider that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, flash fires, three and a red for a sorcery. Destroy all planes. Hate cards were strong back in the day. Uh, definitely a sideboard card that you would want in a red deck, uh, because if you are against a white deck, uh, any sort of white deck, you would definitely want this. Uh, but I do not like first picking hate cards. It's just way too specific. Uh, living terrain, enchant land for two and two green. Enchanted land is a five six green tree folk and it is still a land. Uh, this is okay. It's a little bit better than any of the uh, enchanted creatures, and it comes in early uh, for the stats that you get for it. The only downside is, obviously, if it's removed, you lose a land as well as a bomb. Uh, and so I, I would say, because you're always going to have lands, most likely, uh, this card is much better than the enchanted creature. I would consider it, but I don't know if it's actually better. Uh, and then our rare... Fleeting Image is a 2-1 for 3 with flying. Uh, you can also pay 1 in a blue to return it to its owner's hand. Honestly, 
this card seems pretty decent for limited it's not super strong but the fact that it can bounce back to your hand is uh really really useful makes it extraordinarily difficult to remove uh and i don't know if that's actually the pick to be honest i feel like on sheer power level uh it's kind of between these two um but on evasion and everything i really like this fleeting image i've never actually seen this card i would probably test this um i might be wrong in saying that i feel like the living terrain might actually be the pick uh, but for me, just in testing, I would probably say let's take Fleeting Image and just see how it goes. So that would be my pick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next Crack-A-Pack video.